guys, what up? I wanted to film this video for YouTube and I believe it is one of the most important things that can make you sound professional as a drummer. If you're playing pop, if you're playing R&B, if you're playing gospel, especially if you're playing gospel, anything funk, especially too, if you're playing anything with a lot of quick hits, it is something called note value. Now, um, if you play a melodic instrument, technically drums are a melodic instrument, but I'm talking more like piano, guitar. Um, if you see it written on actual staff, each note, like a quarter note, an eighth note, a whole note, a half note, it actually represents how long the note should be played. So a half note would be like, boom, and the eighth note could be like, bump, or a sixteenth note could be like, bump, you know what I'm saying? So on drums, we can't really emulate that same length of time on drums, but what we can do is catch hits. So we can catch certain things with like hi-hat chokes as a 16th note, or like a crash as a whole note, or like a tom, right? We could hit those things as representation of the shorter notes, like 16th notes and eighth notes, okay? I'm gonna play this for you, and I want you to take note of how I catch the short things with hi-hat chokes or tom fills to match um, the hits in the song. What you don't want to do is match a short hit with a long tone. So a long tone on the drum set may be like a crash cymbal. So if you take this song, for instance, what we're playing, it's got a lot of quick hits. Bun, bing, bun, bun, bun. So this is a track called uh, Keep Fighting by my guy Kevin Powell. You can download this track from ShedTracks.com for free and you can play along with it and you can learn, okay? You can practice exactly what I'm showing you. This is a great track to actually practice note value and catching the short hits and setting up the long hits, the explosions, the quick stuff that you can pick up even with splash work, um, adding that sauce in there, okay? You may say, Carlin, so what can you... Uh, play the short hits with. So let me see if I can show you what to do for short hits really quick. So guys, watch me as I play this song again, and I want you to pay attention to the music and how I play the music, right? When there's something short, like a short hit in the song, I catch that part with a short tone on the drum set, either a hi-hat choke, a tom, a snare. And when it's something long, like usually on the downbeat, like the one, two, three, four, boom, I'll catch the, the explosion, the downbeat with a crash or something that matches the long note value in the song, okay? So check it out. So listen to this intro. Get the game short, bun short, bun long, bun long, bidi ba long, ba dum bit. So the longs can be crashes, the shorts can be hi hat chokes, okay? And what I want you guys to know is 
this is the mark of a professional. Um, you don't even have to have a lot of chops to actually sound professional if you know how to play the music. And this is how you sound mature as a drummer. So some of the best drummers I know know how to play note value, right? If you look at a genre like country, country has some short things in the music and they have some long things in the music, but the timing is solid and they know how to catch these parts, the long parts, the short parts. Da, doom, doom. And that's just playing the music. Like, I mean, in gospel music, there is a lot of um, hits, short hits and long hits, and you should know how to set those things up, but that's for another video as far as chops into these short hits. That's another thing that really makes you sound seasoned if you can chop into a short hit. Um, but you don't necessarily need the chop, okay? You can get more work, more gigs just from knowing how to play note value in the music, okay? Okay, guys, so I hope that makes sense. I hope you learned something in this lesson. I've been wanting to do this lesson for a very long time. I think that is the, the biggest pet peeve of mine, and I figure, yo, I need to teach this and help drummers all over the world become better. I mean, this will get you more gigs. This will get you, this will help you sound more professional um, than anything else, more than learning new chops or anything. Um, not playing a long crash when it's a short hit or not playing a short hit when it's a, supposed to be a big explosion moment. That is note value and that will get you hired, um, a lot. Okay. Um, and of course you need to have good timing, good timing and note value. Okay. I, I think that is important. That is the mark of a season drummer. So you're welcome to go back and watch this video. Watch how I caught things on the hi-hat and over here on the stack and on the splash right there and on the splash right here. And I have a, a mini China right here stack. So I used a lot of short tones because there's so many. So when you're rehearsing your music for church, figure out not just the drum pattern, but how are you going to catch these things, okay? How are you going to catch the long, short, long, short? And the best way, guys, is to listen to records. Um, if you play gospel, listen to Calvin Rogers, man. Go back to the um, Bishop Trotter stuff. Go to the Marvin Sapp stuff. Go to the John P. Key stuff. If you listen to, um, if you play pop or R&B, listen to uh, Lil John Roberts. Go back and watch those Janet Jackson shows. Um, uh, Brian Fraser Moore, uh, Aaron Spears. Go watch the Usher shows. Um, any of the guys that's working. Um, Devin Sticks Taylor with Justin Bieber. Um, there's so many dope drummers out here, guys, and that is the mark of a professional. It's not so much your chops, but if you can get that note value right, I'm telling you, like, you'll listen back to yourself on, on, on tape or on social media once you start recording the videos after you learn this, and you'll be like, wow, I do sound more seasoned, okay? Yeah, so figure out where you want to play those note values, okay? So also, guys, just to help you out even further, um, I want to show you guys how I create chops. So I'm going to leave a link in the description for uh, four free drum lessons from me. Uh, it's from my new drum lesson course. It's called Concepts, Chops, and Creativity. That's my new course that I put out just to have something out there, uh, some structured lessons for you guys, okay? So I'm giving away four chapters from that course for free. Link in the description. And if you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, uh, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, if you can do that, that will help this video get further out into the stratosphere and help more drummers all over the world, okay? Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.